it's the same old song and dance. I need to be more consistent with my vlogging, and I'm failing miserably at that. It's probably not going to change until probably spring break or summer, and if I'm lucky, it's going to be, oh, it will be more consistent in the summer, but I can't make any promises. All right, now we've got the formalities out of the way. Today was a really fun day. I got to hang out with my sister, and we went to have Korean food, which was delicious. And then we just caught up on a lot of things. And that's basically what I want to talk about today. I want to go to culinary school after I graduate from college. Um, I just kind of think I realized that I kind of have an interest in this recently and about probably back in uh, November. And it seems like a good idea. Like I'm going to take a year off after college and just go try and get a job on a cruise ship because that sounds like an interesting place to work or one of the many places that offer jobs on cruise ships, or offer cruise ship liners, huh, what are words, anyway, um, and I want to try that for a year, save up money, and try and start paying off some debts, if anything, I'm just, uh, I, I kind of want to try and see if I can get some things figured out, I don't want to say I'm going to try and get my life figured out, even though I always say that when I think about the job I, a uh, job I can hopefully get after college, because my mom eloquently pointed out, no one ever gets their life figured out, and I'm like, that seems like a valid point. I mean, if you think you've got your life figured out, that's great. I, I envy you, but I just, I, I think 20s are a problem for people because it's, it's just that weird time where it's like, you know, you're supposed to agree, you're supposed to graduate from college or just, you know, and have a job ready and just have this experience and go out and take on the world and just, you know, find your place. And it's like, you're only just, that seems like such a thing. And I'm like, but then, I don't know. And this is kind of where I get to because I, I have a, I'm, I'm going to graduate, I think, in about a year, which is great, but also terrifying. And I'm just, I, I shouldn't be terrified. I should be happy. And I am happy. I'm just, and then it's kind of like, well, then what do I do next? I mean, you know, get a job, graduate school, something like that. But I'm just, the thing is, I, I just, I'm getting a degree in art history. And I love art history to pieces. It's just, I have a fiery passion for art history. I'm just not sure if I want to continue on with art history or if I want to try and go in a different direction, i.e. culinary school. And I kind of thought, well, I still do think I want to go to culinary school, but just my sisters made some valid points about maybe what I want to do because I I, I do love to cook. Like I, I like cooking. It makes it's fun. It makes me happy and it's fun. And I just I think that's the direction I might like to try and see if it makes me happy. But I'm. I think there's still a part of me that is, I don't know, there's still a part of me that really just wants to go for art history, but I'm just not sure because the thing is, I, I love art history, but I'm your classic student where it's like, okay, well, we need you to read all of these readings that are sometimes tedious, boring, and you're just going to be like, why? Especially for an area of art that you have absolutely no interest in. I'm not going to say any particular area. It was just, the area I am passionate about is Victorian England, or <laughs> Victorian art slash Edwardian art. But we don't really have that many classes devoted to those two eras, even though I would love it if that happened. At least at my school, we don't. The closest I think we ever get is um, 19th century European art, and that's great, but it's mostly just Victorian. We don't get into Edwardian. I, rare is the time do we get into Edwardian art. And those are the two areas I'd really like to specialize in if I ever go down the further down the road of art history. But I'm just not sure if I, uh, if I want to go to graduate school and go for art history or more art history, but my sister made a valid point. If it doesn't really interest you, you're not always going to want to go after it and read it and research it, which is a very, I not an, it's not an excuse, but it's a very good point. I mean, if I had a class that had the two things I'm so interested in, I think I would be like, I'm going to print out all of these readings and read them in one go because I want to learn. And I think that's true. I can honestly say that if someone was like, well, here, we need you to read up on all of these readings about Victorian England and, Vic and Edwardian England, I'd be like, okay, next morning, how are you? I'm still reading, leave me alone, so much knowledge. And that's great, but I just, we don't have Victorian era art or Edwardian era art at my school, which is unfortunate. And that bums me out, kind of, but... The thing is, if I really want to specialize in these two things, I would probably need to go to graduate school, and I would probably need to go to England for that. I'm not, I'm, I could be way off, and it could be like, no, you just need to do research and go to this school. But yeah, I mean, a graduate school would probably be very good if I wanted to do that, and maybe that's just what I need to do, but I'm just not sure. I mean, 
I am I'm very in my element in an educational environment like colleges and, and schools and just I feel at home there I don't know what it is except for elementary school but we're not going to get into that but yeah and it's great and I just want to I don't know I mean I wouldn't be opposed to going back you know keeping up with school it's just there's that little voice in the, in the back of my head that just goes are you sure you want to stick with our history for the rest of your life are you sure you want to put yourself in even more debt because of this? But then there's the whole thing that my sister made a valid point on. It's like, if you had an option to say, this is just an example. I, it's not really happening to me yet. Well, yeah, maybe. But if she was like, say you got an internship at Christie's, which, or you, and then there's like culinary school. Would you pick the internship and say, fuck culinary school? Or would you be like, I really want this internship, but then there's culinary school, and I'm glad she did that because I would be like, I would take that internship, you have no idea. It's just, I mean, and that's kind of what worries me because I, I love art. But, well, I love art history, and I just, it fascinates me, and just, there's so much, there's so many cool things about it. But sometimes I just wonder if I'm really, is my heart really in it? But then she gave me that example, I'm like, if I could work at Christie's or Sotheby's or something like that, I would, I would just, yes. I don't care if it's like, I, I just, I want to, I would love to work there. I say this now, maybe someone would be like, no, you wouldn't if you actually got there, but I, I think I would like it. I just, I, I think it would be great. And that kind of worries me now, because now I'm like, I like the idea of culinary school, but am I that invested in it, or am I, is it just kind of like, oh, I like to cook. I mean, my sister isn't trying to talk me out of it. She's just like, hey, I want you to do what makes you happy, and I appreciate that, but she made a valid point. It's like, you know, just don't put yourself into it because culinary school is expensive. I I knew it was going to cost money, but I didn't realize it was going to be so expensive as my sisters pointed out, which is a thank you again for that. And um, but she's like, just do you want to put yourself in more debt and spend more years doing something you think you want to do, but then you realize you, then you realize you might not want to do this? And that's that's another thing to consider. Do I really want to go to culinary school or should I just go to graduate school? And I don't know. I'm just like... I'm, I, I feel like I have a year left to try and figure some things out, not get my life figured out, but I'm just like, what am I going to do? I don't know. And this is why I despise my 20s. It's like, can't my, just, why, why must this be so complicated? I just, I don't know. And then, and then, I probably should do more research on this, and I could be way off here, but I'm like, I'm pretty sure that if I'm going to specialize, if I want to, you know, learn more about Victorian art and Edwardian art, I'm probably going to need to go to England. I, right, that makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, maybe there's some Victorian art here. I could be way off and be like, no, just go here in the U.S. And that, I just, and I feel really bad for saying this, and it's like, some people probably be like, oh my god, you chicken. But I'm kind of scared, because like, I wouldn't mind going to a different, like, if I, if I can find a place that offers what I want, you know, here's where you can do all the research you could possibly dream of of the area of art that you want to study. I would love that, but it's like, but you just have to move to a different country. I'm kind of terrified of that aspect. I real I know it's like, oh come on, where's your sense of adventure? But I'm just like, I'm kind of a chicken. I mean, if you know, if I get the opportunity and I can afford it, because God only knows how much that's gonna cost. It's like, oh yes, you can totally come to school here. Here's your bill. Oh, I think I just died. I just, I kind of want to, but I'm just kind of scared. I mean, who knows? I could again. I could be overthinking this way too much. I usually do that all the time. And it'll just be like, just go here in the United States. Here's a place where you can go. Go here. And you'll find everything you need. But I'm pretty sure if it's this area, they're probably going to be over there. And by over there, excuse me, over there, I mean the uh, England. And, I mean, I have nothing against England. It's just, it's kind of scary because I've never been there. And it's just interest. I mean, I, I want to go when I finally get the courage. But it's just like... Okay, come on, just grow some balls. Grow a pair and just do it. Or grow a pair of ovaries, what have you. Ovaries, let's just stick with ovaries. I shouldn't be such a chicken about this because England looks cool once you get... You, the, I don't know, I think it's just the culture shock that's kind of scaring me. And I'm like, dude, this is, could be a fun adventure. I mean, what do I have to be scared of? The culture shock, I think, really more than anything else. I'm just worried it's like... I don't know what I'm even scared of. Is it just the unknown? I don't know. I mean... If anything, I'd probably just be like, I gotta go do research, leave me be. I don't know, I think we'd just be kind of like trying to make new friends because I'm kind of introverted. I'd be like, hi, I'm new here. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. I am in a new country. And I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Please help me and be my friend. Well, please be my friend. And maybe show me the ropes here, please. I'm so scared. <sighs> I, I, can I mention I'm awkward? Because, yeah, that kind of plays into it, too. And I know I'm being a big giant chicken, and I'm probably overthinking this, and it's like, dude, you just, just get over there. And this is if I decide to go to graduate school, and if I need to go to England for my research for a graduate degree. I have no idea. And I really shouldn't be so scared of this. I should view this as a potential adventure. But, you know, I this is, seriously, this is what goes through my head. This is why I overthink way too much for my own good, and this is bad. I need to stop doing this, but it's so hard. It's like, why does my brain do this? Sorry, it just, this is, this is what happens when I overthink too much and I start trying to think about my future. It's like, what am I going to do? They're just, I don't know. Well, the one thing I do know is that I do love art history. I do like to cook, but I'm just, I, I need to, I need to contemplate some things, I think. And hopefully this year will, this upcoming year, hopefully a year from now, I'll have some more things figured out. I won't say I have my life figured out because I doubt that's going to happen. But maybe I'll have a better idea of what direction I want to go in. I really hope I do. I, I don't know. I just, I hope I get it figured out. Or I get something figured out. Who knows, maybe in a year I'll just be like, I know exactly what I want to do now. I, I doubt that, but you, you never know. Okay, well, now that I've gotten this all off my chest, I am going to go and do something very cathartic. Probably painting. That's at least something I know that I thoroughly enjoy. Alright, well, hope you all are doing well, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.